getting ready to pull the uh, motor out of this van. Obviously, I'm using a two-post lift. Makes things a lot easier. This little device right here, I made. It's out of uh, probably three-eighths. It looks like three-eighths flat stock steel. I welded a couple things. This with a five-eighths threaded rod washer and everything you just simply take your shock out of a coil spring setup this right here will work on anything that's got a coil spring with upper and lower control arms most of your 70s cars trucks and stuff had them uh, the springs the spring tension can be a little bit tricky and everything and this thing right here you can pull the shock out slip this up this comes up through the bottom this goes in the middle of the spring. You can tighten up and hold the pressure on the spring and keep it from kicking out. On this van, what we're doing is we're gonna take the control arms loose and then there's uh, three or four bolts on each side of this K member that bolts the engine cradle to the body. You can take them bolts out and then put you a floor jack in there maybe two floor jacks, then you can lift the body of the van off of the engine. You're not working over the paint or anything like that. You lift the body off the engine and then it's, uh, it's pretty simple to do with a two post lift. You can do it on the ground. I've done it on the ground with jack stands and floor jacks. Uh, but this, this, these little pieces right here, which are simple, so most of y'all have got, some scrap metal laying around, you can make this and then you can just go to your local hardware and get this 5H threaded rod, get a couple of nuts and uh, a couple of washers and then you just simply stick it in and this goes in the middle of the spring. It just simply goes right up through the shock hole and put the nut and just start it at the top and then run this nut. Just pull just a little bit of tension off that thing. Then, uh, of course, I'll go over to the other side and do the do the other side. I'm going to raise this up here.
you can see how I come up through through the shock hole. It goes up. Then you just use that tighten. And then see it's got the tension off the spring. Any car with a coil spring can be done like this. Now there's a few pieces that I've got to take off, but right, right there is the bolts. There's four on each side of this K member. And once you've got the springs loose, you just take the, the control arms loose and then uh, I'll lower it back down and I'll put a, a uh, floor jack on each side of this and then I can crawl under it with a creeper and just spin them four bolts out and then lift this engine off of the van. Very easy to change the motor in these vans. I have uh, took one of these motors out from start to finish just getting the motor out in about two and a half to three hours I can have this engine and transmission out. And going back together is very simple. You have your engine on a, just a simple engine stand like that right there. You bolt the K-member up to the bottom of the engine through the motor mounts just like it's going to go in. And on these Dodge, 70s Dodge vans, 71 through probably 80 something, uh, you can just lower, put your engine in there in the engine stand and just lower the van back down on it. Bolt your K-member back up, raise it up, then you can put your transmission in. It's no trouble at all. Obviously, the two-post lift makes it easier. But you can do it on the ground. I have done it on the ground. That, that's how you pull the engines on these Dodge vans. They do not go through the top like a lot of people where they pull the heads off and everything. They're just as a, there's just too much to do up there. This is the easiest way to do it and quickest. This van's called Vanther. It's a 77 B200. I have a 440 at the machine shop right now being built. All the machine work, it's going to have Elderbrock aluminum heads, a Hughes whiplash cam. The compression's going to be nine, nine and a half to one. Uh, uh, ceramic coated headers. Uh, 770 carburetor everything I am going to have air conditioning it gets hot down here in the south you've got to have AC this is what I call a muscle van that's what I'm building it to be most people don't realize that these Dodge vans came from the factory with a 440. And the Dodge van body, uh, 100, 200, and a B300 all are the same body. It's just simple coil spring difference changed over to an eight lug system. You can actually bolt and make this make a 100 into a 300 with a dually on it. You can make a 300 du dually shorty if you want to. Everything simply just bolts on. It was pretty simplified engineering. I guess what they call nowadays platform engineering. Because they use obviously Dodge and Plymouth vans. I will make another video. Y'all have a good day.